Your mind is locked in a continuous battle between reality and fantasy. There's a release when you're doing the artwork, there's a fulfillment when you show the artwork, and then there's a purpose when other people are being healed through your artwork. There's a piece on, on breaking the chains, and other people are walking by it, right? And they're seeing, wow, you know, that speaks to my heart. So now this person who, who did it just to kind of have a release has now a purpose. Now they have a purpose for showing their work to actually help others heal. It's about feeling like trapped kind of, and I can totally relate feeling trapped. There are so many people who play a role with a child with mental health issues. And then the art was the piece to um, bring hope and joy and awareness. I just wrote, I have PTSD on my forehead to show that um, it's not that obvious and I used, uh, I made my hand go like this to uncover my, uh, the forehead with, uh, from my bangs. I was struggling with an eating disorder, bulimia, and um, I wanted to do something about loving myself, so I start with the heart. Find yourself is just, you know, I don't know, just find the good in you. Free yourself is because I have ADD and ADHD. I'm always trapped in my mind. I can't like just go out there and start speaking. It's really hard for me. These kids struggle, but like the beauty in their art, there's so much that comes out of it. I struggle with a lot of anxiety, but out of it you can get like a beautiful rose. Water is is free, like it can move whatever it wants. I can't do that. I have stuff holding me back, but just because I have other stuff that nothing's holding me back from painting, you can show it and then they'll know what you're thinking. You like show what you're feeling. When he was two, believe it or not, he had a sense of color with markers and he did uh, one of his first drawings was of a shark and, um, and it had geometric designs in it and it was just full of color, turquoise and purple and pink and green. Very often, you know, with mental illness, with, with different issues, they can't express themselves, they can't s speak it. But I think art, it lets people see, that, see them, see them how, how they express themselves and see how so much like others they are. I just appreciate the opportunity to, for him to, to be able to express himself and for his artwork to be seen. This is like where Van Gogh was. You know, Van Gogh was also in a hospitalization many times for psychiatric illness. And so I see a lot of these art, uh, pieces of art as the next Van Gogh. From the picture, it's not like the person wanted to wake up with mental illness that day. They didn't go to bed that night saying, oh, I want to have schizophrenia or PTSD. It just happens, unfortunately. It was so provoking because it evoked the most unbelievable amount of pain. And so I was almost thinking, wow, I love this because it's a voice of the truth. But it was just so painful of this girl, what she had to experience. She does reach out to others through her artwork. I think um, uh, some of our friends who are, have mental illness have looked at her artwork and said, yeah, yeah this, we get it. There are people struggling out there and they really need support because sometimes when you're struggling you feel so alone. It could be anyone. Anyone could be struggling with something and you, you won't know it. It could be a family member, it could be your best friend or a neighbor. It, it affects anyone. There's no a certain kind of person that, uh, that has mental illness. You know, we keep things inside, you know, not just people struggling with mental illness. I think all of us need to get things out. I mean, we all on some level have struggled with, you know, things in our head and anxieties and things we're worrying about during the day. So I think art is the most expressive thing that you can do. I'm not one for labels. And I always tell my son, I said, you're Joe. You're not schizophrenic. 
You're my son and you're Joe and you're special like everybody else. Well, I'm just a person. I want to be an artist when I grow up. I want to have kids like most other people. I want to have a job, hopefully well paying. <laughs> I want to have a family. I mean, my goals are no different from anyone else's. We're much more than that and we have so much that we want to share. I want to be an artist and somehow help others uh, with the struggle as well. This is uh, my daughter, Emmy. She's the one with a bow. Um, the two penguins represent me and my boyfriend and how our love for each other brings me hope. I I've called this gold because it's the best currency I could ever have to be able to um, bring hope to these kids and, and really impact how others feel about them. Here comes the sun Here comes the sun And I say it's alright Little darling It's been a long cold lonely winter Little darling It feels like years since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun And I say it's alright Little darling The smiles returning to the faces Little darling It seems like years since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun And I say it's all